Silvermine Nature Reserve is part of the Table Mountain National Park, which is located in Cape Town in the Western Cape in South Africa. It is at an approximate height of between 300 and 887 meters above sea level. It covers the southern section of Table Mountain as well as the Cape Peninsula. The Nature Reserve is a significant conservation area which is administered by the South African National Parks Association. The main vegetation in this nature reserve is described as mountain fynbos. As previously mentioned, the fynbos biome within this region has adapted to the disturbing events of a Mediterranean type climate ecosystem with events such as fire and seasonal weather changes. Plant communities responded to these events by evolving leathery leaves which are evergreen with thick stems and the shrubland is fire prone which is part of its natural cycle. As a result, this involved shifts in the dominance and increased variation in the plant diversity in the region. Silvermine Nature Reserve was burned by wildfires in March 2015 and the fires caused extensive damage to vegetation and approximately 5,120 hectares of forests and fynbos. Also, a number of buildings and other infrastructure were damaged. The nature reserve was closed for the rest of the year until 2016, when it was reopened to the public. The main aim of the study was to develop fixed point photography methodologies for assessing the post-fire mountain fynbos vegetation succession and to estimate the changes in landscapes for monitoring the phenological patterns in the plant communities. Particular attention was paid to leaf development, flowering and seed production, as well as leaf initiation and condition. In order to identify areas for detailed photographic monitoring of the phenological cycle, sampling was undertaken one year after the region had recovered from the fires of February 2015. Vegetation monitoring was done for a year only. Regular photographic monitoring began in autumn 2016 and ended by late summer 2017. Through five post-fire months, April, August, September, November 2016 and January 2017, these sites were monitored. In this study, I selected five sites in burnt Feinbos areas at Silver Mine Nature Reserve. These sites were located adjacent to the hiking path of the nature reserve along a latitudinal gradient 
from 460 to 626 meters above sea level. At each study site, I used a small fixed monitoring quadrant of 3 meters by 2 meters to analyze the phenological patterns of plant communities within the mountain Feinbos. I used calibration boards for color correction in post-production to keep the color data consistent. Each of these six color calibration boards was placed in the back three and front three sections of the quadrant. I did this in order to get a consistent measurement of the light and color changes throughout the different seasons. Seven measurement height sticks were used to measure the height of the individual plants and above ground cover through different seasons. The camera distance to the plot was fixed at 4 meters and a tripod was positioned at 1.6 meters above the ground. Fixed point photography was developed by using a high resolution Canon 5DSR with a 45mm tilt shift lens to create very high definition parallel panoramic imagery. A camera was set horizontally on the tripod for taking a series of parallel photographs. A three-axis bubble spirit was used to ensure taking sequential images at the same level. A polarizing filter was also installed on the tilt shift lens in order to reduce the significant sunlight reflections and glare from plant leaf surfaces. A tilt shift lens was used horizontally to show three series of parallel panorama imagery by sliding the lens through three points from left to right. In order to significantly increase the field of view and reduce the distortion of the quadrant relative to the image sensor, each panoramic image consists of three raw images, 8,688 pixels by 5,792 pixels. 
This is achieved by stitching a photo series into a panorama. Using these procedures, an image with a resolution of 11,092 pixels by 8,565 pixels was generated with a significantly higher detail level than other current image platforms. Due to natural light being very variable based on the time of day, season and degree of cloudiness, Color correction was used to correct the reflectance values of each RGB color channel in post-production. This was done so that the images could all have near identical color output. Furthermore, exposure adjustments were used to detect details from shadows and bright spots. Geometric correction or reprojection of images was used to eliminate distortion that occurs when one rephotographs the site, also to try and keep the shot angles consistent. In order to track the individual plants in the same spot and to assess the change of total vegetation cover over time, a grid was used for reprojection and this was divided into 24 plots and included a reference system. The grid was laid exactly over the quadrant of the autumn photograph and then repeated with the photographs of the following seasons. These techniques were able to identify growth forms, estimate plant species richness, and also the number of individual plants within the study sites. Fixed point repeated photography was able to identify each case when individual plant died. It also identified one Leucodendron laureolum plant that had died in autumn, April of 2016, and then went missing by winter, August of 2016. Fixed point repeated photography has helped record the leaf growth stages of individual plants over time, from the mature leaf stage to the senescent leaf stage during the post-fire months.
the technique was able to classify the predominant leaf colors and conditions of individual plants and species from fixed monitoring quadrants. Fixed point repeated photography was able to track the blooming stages of individual plants of growth forms during a one year post fire succession. The technique recorded that one individual Roella ciliata plant was blooming, but only when it was in the first growth phase of autumn 2016, and this after more than 14 months since the fire of February 2015. In addition, Fixed point repeated photography had shown that some individual Roella ciliata plants still retained their old sepals after the flowers lost their petals from the last bloom, but this too was in the first growth phase in autumn 2016. These techniques were able to measure the height of these individual plants and life forms above the ground through the different seasons by using height measurement sticks. These sticks were marked out and divided into 50 mm subdivisions for each line. This land was made for you and